Hello, today we have with us the principal of Hyderabad Institute of Technology and Management, Hyderabad, uh, Dr. J. Shiva Kumar. So, hello and welcome to the show, sir. Uh, thank you, madam. Yes, so I would like to give a brief introduction about you, sir, first. So, Dr. J. Shiva Kumar has been awarded the doctoral degree from IIT Khadakpur. Both his graduate and master's degree are from renowned institutes of Karnataka state. Over 30 years of teaching, research and administrative service in several technical institutions of India has enriched his experience in academic quality assurance of higher education system. Before joining Hitam as principal, he served as the principal of Chhattisgarh Engineering College and BIET, Bapuji Institute of Technology and Management, till 2011. Also, he has been certified with a light plus silver medal on accreditation and outcome-based learning by National Institute National Program on Technological Enhanced Learning funded by Ministry of HRD, Government of India in 2019. He has been awarded CMI Level 5 Certificate in Management and Leadership by Chartered Management Institute incorporated by Char Royal Charter London, UK in 2018. He is a lifetime member of pro professional bodies like IE, ISTE, ISTAM, etc. His contributions has been immense and has created a great mark in the society. So, with this brief introduction, I would love to welcome you on the show, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, so, sir, my first question to you would be that uh, you have held key positions at educational institutes throughout your career. So, what is it that keeps you connected to the education sector, sir? Uh, first of all, I would like to express my sincere thanks to collegedunia.com to express my views on education. Uh, as far as question is concerned, uh, education gives us knowledge of the world around us and the capability to change the world. And the responsibility of education is to instill the ability to think in the direction that is useful to the society. And, and we all, each one of us are indebted to society and we can repay it by, by shaping young students into successful individuals. And it is the education sector wherein we will come across an opportunity to shape, to shape the young, the young students, students so that the future can be, can be molded. molded. That is why and, and to learn, learn while, while teaching, teaching. And, and this is the this beauty is of the education. education. That is Yes, sir. So, I would like to uh, ask you my first question. Like you have been associated with a lot of uh, educational institutes before as well. So, what is it that keeps you connected to the education sector, sir? Madam, education that gives us knowledge around the world and it provides the capability to change the world. And the responsibility of educator is to instill the ability to think the people in the right direction, so which is beneficial to the society. And each one of us are indebted to the society and we can repay it by shaping young students into successful individuals. And moreover, we get an opportunity to learn while teaching and this is the beauty of education. Definitely I agree with your point, sir. So, uh, what do you think is your philosophy of leadership, sir? And what is it that you want the students to know, uh, have the leadership qualities in them? Uh, my philosophy of leadership is to unleash the potential of each uh, one by empowering them and it is through empowerment so we are providing an opportunity so to manifest the capabilities so my advice to youngster is to involve and the leadership uh, uh, responsibility is to empower them that is my uh, leadership side uh, so my next question would be uh, like sir uh, as you know 
that uh, the education system in india and other foreign institutes are structured very differently in your experience what can be an inbound student gain from studying in your institute okay uh, madam i agree with you even though the structure is entirely different but now in the current era of uh, digital uh, era so there is no boundary as such so each uh, student by the just click of the mouse so he can uh, visit to any of the university so in the recently uh, like uh, in the pandemic situation also so many of our students and our faculty members also have taken the course of the foreign universities so nowadays because of this uh, digitization and a digital era i don't think uh, that boundary will not will matter so many of our students also have taken courses and uh, there is a course era where almost uh, 90% of our faculty members have taken the courses so there is no such a thing and in our institute we provide an ample opportunity to to uh, undergo the courses of the other universities also so i don't think uh, it matters now definitely sir learning is a process and uh, you are uh, helping the students do that so you are bridging the boundaries and like, that's really great sir so the next question would be how does the curriculum of heatham university ensure the best practice of industry uh, of course to be this one madam our uh, vision is to become a university as of now we are not a university but at the same time we provide an opportunity to the each student so to, to undergo internships and uh, there is a strong uh, industry uh, industry institute interaction at our institute so we make our students to do projects and so that they can involve and they can learn more definitely that's great to know sir so uh, what do you think is the institute's top priority over the next 5 years uh, like uh, madam our immediate priority is to become hub of the emerging technology and in a years to come we wish to be the leaders of importing knowledge in the emerging technologies so that our students uh, gain knowledge in those areas and they can uh, become a uh, potential contributor to the society definitely great to know sir so what would you consider as your institute's biggest strength our biggest strength uh, are the students and ours is a student centric institute and whatever we do we all we do around the students only and the student centricity and the continuous learning and the social consciousness so these are the biggest strength and apart from that team work which binds each student and faculty Uh, amazing to know sir uh, so as you know private colleges are there across india a lot of them are there so how do you distinguish yourself from the rest of them uh we believe madam uh, doing engineering our motto is to do engineering rather than simply studying engineering so if you notice uh, the student from the first year so the first semester itself they will be engaged in uh, doing the projects and uh, we have one uh, epics it is engineering projects in community service and uh, we have tied up with purdue university and uh, in india only seven institutes have have this uh, uh, memorandum of understanding with this uh, purdue and students when they enter from the first year itself uh, they start doing and they are visiting the community and they will be taking the projects so our uh, motto is don't study simply engineering so along with the studying it is by doing by doing engineering you just learn that is our motto in that way i think uh, uh, we are slightly different from the other uh, definitely so learning and implementing the same knowledge uh, will help the students have better idea about engineering itself so is there anything that you know you want to share about your institute that you think the other outside world does not know about hitam college sir uh hitam is a our is a lean institute lean in the sense uh, we are uh, uh, our number is uh, less and our effectiveness is more 
and that is what i wanted to say and as i said earlier ours is a student centric institute and many activities are planned around the uh, students and as I, as i said we are uh, not only teaching we are making them to learn by involving them by doing them so students here they themselves will involve and they do lot of uh, activities and as a matter of fact i should say uh, we have a special uh, cell called uh, uh, ssdc student skill development center wherein students will be trained in the uh, definite uh, skill apart from regular teaching so students are getting involved in learning this skills and uh, there is one more center called cdc we say it is a career design center what we will be doing is when the student enters the first semester we are taking the aspirations of the students and based on the aspirations we are planning them and we are planning their career and we are helping the student each student to shape their career in a better way so that way uh, we, we want to like we are slightly different from the other institute i should say that's great to know sir so is there any message that you would want to share with the uh, aspiring students and the current youth sir uh the my my this one is madam like uh, as i said it is uh, learn by doing learning by doing and become contribute to the society and our uh, vision also says the same thing so our uh, vision is to nurture the students with competencies to become confident about their career and uh, contribution to the society to become contributor to the society first we have to get involved and you have to in, uh, you have to understand their uh, problems and so there is a we can have a social connect also so you just involve in the society try to understand the problem and give this a uh, technical solutions you can give the technical solution only when you learn and by learning you are uh, by doing you are learning so thereby you can become contributor to the society so my uh, like uh, I, i should say it is not a breaching uh, but the thing is it's very simple thing so when you get involved and uh, definitely you will uh, put your effort and uh, you will be learning and you will become a contributor to the society definitely sir everyone should contribute their part to the society i really hope the viewers uh, get uh, more insights about your college from this interview sir and uh, they have uh, like it is really great to have you today on the show sir so thank you for your insights uh, about your college and giving uh, the audience a better picture and a great message from your video sir Th- thank you very much ma'am thank you Thank you from the team of College Dunya as well sir for being a part on our show thank you very much